My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to show you five of my favorite microphones that I own that are under $500. What I'll do is read some of the product description from each microphone through that microphone. Uh, the preamp that I'm going to be using is the Empirical Labs Mic E, no compression, no saturation. I've used all of these microphones on vocals with success. So the first one we're going to look at is the Lawton Audio LA320. This is a large diaphragm tube condenser that comes in at $499. The next microphone we'll look at is the Mojave Audio MA50. This is a large diaphragm transformless microphone and it comes in at $495. Sticking with transformless mics, the next mic is the Roswell Mini K47. This microphone comes in at $299. The next microphone is the SE Electronics 2200A2C. Uh, this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone and it comes in at $299. There's also a multi-pattern version that's $399. And last is a microphone that's no longer in production, so you'll have to get this on eBay or Reverb, and it's the GT57 from Groove Tubes. Uh, this is a Class A FET mic and I looked it up and you can probably get one for uh, say around $200. I paid $299 for mine, though I think the actual price when I purchased it was actually $599. Sweetwater was uh, blowing them out for half off, so I picked one up. Unlike the rest of the microphones, the GT57 has multiple pickup patterns, so it does figure eight, cardioid, and omni. So we'll take a listen to these five microphones and then we'll compare them. So let's take a listen to these microphones and we're going to start with the Lawton Audio LA320. Lawton Audio Series Black LA320 is a versatile large diaphragm vacuum tube condenser mic you'll find ideal for recording just about any source. Inspired by classic German microphones, the LA320 features a dual triode vacuum tube circuit, a 1 inch diaphragm, transformer balanced output, and an included external power supply. And this is the Mojave Audio MA50. Create recordings with incredible realism and clarity with Mojave Audio's MA50 large diaphragm condenser mic. The MA50 delivers expensive sounding performance using the same capsules as the Mojave's popular MA200 and MA200 FET microphones with the Project Studio price tag. The simple yet elegant MA50 rivals transformerless microphones costing many times more. This is the Roswell Audio Mini K47. The Mini K47 captures the tone of a vintage microphone with modern performance specifications. K47 refers to the capsule design. The capsule in this microphone is modeled after one of the most famous microphones of all time. It provides a full, balanced tone without any harshness or hype in the upper frequencies. It will record less syllables and fewer mouth noises on your next vocal track. It will add weight and body to high strings and electric guitars. It will reduce the jangle in strummed acoustic tracks. And this is the SE Electronics SE2200A2C. The SE Electronics 2200A2C cardioid condenser microphone updates the original SE2200A with a smooth black rubberized finish and handy shock mount. Beyond that, the SE2200A2C gives you the same stunning quality and upfront sound that made the original version such a huge hit. This is an incredibly versatile condenser microphone, equally at home in front of a guitar cabinet as it is over a drum kit. And if you're looking for that first truly special vocal mic, an SE Electronics SE2200A2C condenser microphone is an excellent choice. And this is the Groove Tubes GT57. The multi-pattern GT57 Studio FET condenser microphone is perhaps GrooveTube's most versatile large capsule mic. An ultra-thin 3-micron gold-evaporated Mylar diaphragm is uniquely hand-built into the mic. 
GT Exclusive Disc Resonator naturally extends high frequencies to improve detail and depth. The GT57 microphone is the perfect choice for both vocal and instrument recordings. Okay, so I'll quickly discuss some things that I heard comparing them all, and I'd love to hear your comments. So certainly comment, let me know which one you thought sounded the best, the worst, uh, and just let me know what you think. Uh, starting with the LA320, uh, I definitely hear the tube warmth in there, and it's nice and clear. Uh, the LA320 is one of my favorites as far as my voice from what we've recorded here. Uh, the Mojave Audio MA50, even clear. I love how the Mojave doesn't have a clutter of low mids that makes it muddy. Uh, everything is just nice and even and clear. Uh, the Mini K47 uh, has some warmth to it down there in the low mids, but it also remains clear. Uh, the SE2200 2A, uh, I also like it. It has a nice even response, a little bit of warmth there, not as much as the K47 does, but everything still sounds nice and even, uh, as well as all the way up to the high frequencies as well on there. Uh, the GT57, uh, this one was my least favorite as far as my voice. Uh, I found that it's a dark microphone, but you know sometimes you need a microphone that's darker versus one that's bright uh, just to help uh, you know balance your mic locker here. So this is definitely my darker microphone uh, that I have. I uh, also didn't really like what it did to the low mids there. Also, for those who are interested, I will have a download link in the description where you can download these files, uh, load them into your DAW, and take a closer listen to them yourself. Uh, so like I said, comment, let me know what you think, and I'll catch y'all next time.